Leo Tolstoy, 1828-1910 through 1910. Leo Nikolaevich Tolstoy was a prominent Russian writer and thinker, defined as the greatest novelist in world history. He was recognized as the patriarch of Russian literature, even during his lifetime, and his vast and multifaceted work infused new vitality into Russian and world realism. The writer bequeathed to humanity his immortal novels, plays, stories, and writings, which became an almanac of the human soul. Important Years in the Life of Leo Tolstoy 1828, born on the 9th of September in Yasnaya Polyana, Tula Governorate, Russian Empire. 1830, his mother Maria passed away. 1837, his father Nikolai died suddenly. 1844, entered the Kazan University. 1847, interrupted his studies and returned to his native place to become a landlord. 1851, entered the Russian army. 1852, childhood published, the first part of the autobiographical trilogy he wrote. 1854, participated in the defense of Sevastopol during the Crimean War. 1857, first trip abroad. 1859, he established a school in his estate for the children of the serfs. 1861, Alexander II's Royal Manifesto of February 19th, which abolished serfdom. Tolstoy challenged Turgenev to a duel. 1862, married to Sophia Bears. 1865 through 1869, the novel War and Peace was published for the first time, split into several parts across different magazine issues. 1873, he helped the victims of the famine in Samara. 1878, Anna Karenina novel was published. 1879, wrote short stories, including What Men Live By. 1881, moved to Moscow. 1884, What I Believe got censored. Made an attempt to leave home to escape family problems. 1886, the work The Death of Ivan Ilyich was published. 1888, ban imposed on the production of the play The Power of Darkness. 1889, The Power of Darkness performed in Paris in French. 1891, participated in helping the victims of the famine. 1896, began to support the Dukabors, religious sect. 1900, the novel Resurrection gained international fame. 1901, excommunicated from the Russian Orthodox Church. 1904, presented Bethink Yourselves as a protest against the Russo-Japanese War. 1910, died on the 20th of November in Astapovo. Leo Tolstoy was born in the family estate, Yasnia Polyana. As a member of the esteemed Tolstoy family, he was born into Russian nobility and held the title of count throughout his life. Tragically, Leo lost his mother at the age of two, and along with his older siblings, he was raised by relatives. He received a home education, after which he entered the regular course of Arabic and Turkish philology at Kazan University, and later moved to the law faculty. Before completing the third year at the university, he left it without receiving a higher education. At that time, he was very interested in music, his favorite composers being Bach, Handel, and Chopin. He started keeping a diary in which he wrote down everything important that he had to achieve in life. At the same time, he educated himself and read a lot. As an adult, he spoke 15 languages. His literary debut, The Story Childhood, brought him recognition immediately. His first work struck literacy criticism with the courage of psychological analysis and the unfolding picture of the dialect of the soul. His passion for gambling led to the accumulation of many debts, which he was able to repay after a long time. With the rank of cadet, he went to the Caucasus and participated in the protracted Caucasian War. He wrote the series Sevastopol Stories, dedicated to the Crimean War and the defense of Sevastopol, in which he personally participated. Returning to Yasnaya Polyana, Tolstoy devoted himself to educational activities and began to organize schools for village children. He wrote hundreds of fairy tales for the little ones. 
The novels War and Peace, Anna Karenina, and Resurrection brought him world fame. The novel War and Peace revealed the fates of five aristocratic families in the period 1805 through 1813. Tolstoy painted a large-scale epic canvas, amazingly accurately combining it with psychological analysis and including the personal lives of the characters at the center of historical events. The author created the novel Anna Karenina as a book about the life of modern society, contrasting two storylines in the composition. The family drama of Anna Karenina contrasted with the life and domestic idol of the young landowner Konstantin Levin, who as a type was close to the writer himself and his manner of life. The shocking story of the tragic love of Anna and Vronsky, the main characters, extremely complex and contradictory. The subtlest shades of love, disappointment, jealousy, despair, and spiritual enlightenment. All this turned the novel into a true literary masterpiece. Tolstoy's last novel, Resurrection, embodied the whole spectrum of problems that concerned the author. It became one of the sharpest social novels, not only in Tolstoy's work, but also in all of Russian literature. In the 80s of the 19th century, a turning point emerged in the mind of the writer, which was reflected in the works, Kreutzer's Sonata, The Death of Ivan Ilyich, After the Ball, Father Sergius. Tolstoy's religious views radically changed his way of life and behavior. He renounced his property and copyright, did manual labor, denied the exploitation, violence and superstition of the state and the church. Tolstoy's family and his former aristocratic environment did not accept his new views and behavior. Tolstoy felt alone and out of place. His only support was his faith and awareness of the existence of a reasonable but unknowable God who had invested in human hearts divine qualities. Willingness to sacrifice, kindness, charity, which Tolstoy called love. Leo Tolstoy died at the age of 82. The writer was buried in Yasnaya Polyana, as he himself had bequeathed, because there he lived his happiest years, and together with his brothers, as children, searched for the green stick, capable of making all people happy. The writer Vladimir Nabokov used an interesting method in his lectures to present his attitude to world classics. He closed all the blinds in the room until it was completely dark. Then he said, Gogol is in the sky of Russian literature. A lamp was lit at the back of the room. It's Chekhov. Another lamp lit up like a star on the ceiling. This is Dostoevsky. Then he turned on all the lights in the room. And this is Tolstoy. He sharply pulled the blinds, and the whole room was bathed in bright sunlight. Life Wisdom from Leo Tolstoy Everyone thinks of changing the world but no one thinks of changing himself. All thoughts that have huge consequences are simple. The main requirement for any art is a sense of proportion. One of the most dangerous sentences is, everybody does it. Do what you must and let it be what it will.